Hello, everyone. And to God be all the glory. Saints, I know y'all know. Sometimes we just got to talk to ourselves and say, self, you can't go by your feelings. You can't go by your emotions. Because if I continue to go by my feelings, my emotions, y'all, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't do nothing. I just sit, be, I just sit there and just sit there. When it's so much to say about the goodness of the Lord and his soon return. Y'all, I know, I know I done told y'all how good God been to me. But I, I just I, I must admit. These last few weeks, it's just it's been like it's hard to, to, to come up here and 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 talk about what I've been reading and what I've been learning. And I I, I know that's spiritual warfare. But um sometimes you gotta just jack your own self up. I jack my own self up. Look, you gonna do what you know you supposed to do. And so I, I just wanna talk about faith a little bit just just a little bit because we all we know what the scriptures say that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so i could be praying about a certain thing and and i'm gonna use for instance okay so i say i'm i want a job but i don't put the application in faith and works it work together if I have the faith to believe that somebody going to call me, I need to go and put some works behind my faith. I need to go fill out the application. I need to open up my mouth and, and begin to speak things uh, that be not as though they were. Faith. I need to be, I, I need to be busy and be busy believing that God gonna bless with the job, God gonna bless with the house, God gonna bless you to have the baby that you desire, God gonna bless you to get married if you wait on him, if you wait on God. I know, I know, she always talking about, uh, 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 don't get married now, uh, seek the Lord. Yeah, I know, I know. And I, let me tell you, I wouldn't say nothing. But if it's going to save somebody from a, a, a getting in trouble, um, walking off on God, I'm going to say it. Because if I don't say it, ain't too many that's saying it. Ain't too many that's saying, wait on God, seek the face of God. There are some people that's saying it, but it's more saying, hey, your husband coming. Your wife come. Now, I ain't even get up here to say all that. I, I didn't even get up here. I got up here to talk about faith. But if, if 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 you are listening, if you are listening to me and you are contemplating getting married, and you not you have not sought the face of God, hey, please, young lady, young man, y'all go seek the face of God. Y'all go get some counseling before you say I do. So you won't have to say I want to get a divorce. Yeah, okay, Lord. I ain't sorry that I said it. And uh, if you had to hear it and, and you got offended, that's on you. It's all for me. I done said it. So, young lady, young man, y'all go get some counseling. And uh, don't be so quick to move. Sometimes we get excited. We say we want to be married. We done, we done did this. We done got the, we done got the, the, the place to have it, the venue to have it. We done got the dress. He done got his stuff. You know, we got all our people in line. And then we'll know it's wrong. But we go on because we done paid money. We, we, we don't want folks talking about us. Y'all, look. It's all right to say, Okay, we, we decided we gonna wait. And we gonna wait and we gonna do it God's way. We ain't gonna be living together. We ain't gonna be touching on each other after we done got our, our, our counseling session. And I'm talking about get somebody 
Ask the Lord to lead you to somebody going to tell you the truth because people will push you off. They go get married to their sons, to their daughters. No, you let God, you let God lead you. I did not come up here to talk about this. I came up here to talk about faith. I came up here to talk about being about the father's business, getting busy, walking by faith and not by sight. No, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. But by faith, I know something about to take place because uh, I'm, I'm asking God. I'm seeking God. I'm knocking on the door. Lord, I'm continue, continuously in prayer. Hey, look, y'all. Don't let nobody Nobody get you off the path of righteousness. When you know what you know what you know, don't let nobody tell you something different. Have you thinking you don't know what you're talking about. You might can't get it out and, 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 and verbalize it the way that you you thinking because I, I i be like that sometimes but see god he knows and if you know you ain't saying nothing wrong you keep on you keep on and you keep on in the faith keep on moving in god because see y'all the enemy he is tricky he want us to be doubting he want us to be uh 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 be tossed to and fro be all over the place when you know that you know that you know that you know that the greater one is living on the inside and you know that you are living a life that is pleasing to the Lord, you keep on, keep it on, keep it on, staying on the straight and narrow path, y'all. Because you know what, y'all? We know that the Lord could come back. And if I didn't say, you know, we're living in the end times, and I just and I just say, Jesus is coming. The word says he's coming. I, I the, the word, if we don't say this is the end time, even though we, we see all these things happening, we hear people say, Oh no, this is not the end times. Things gonna get better. It, it, where it say that in the word? It, it is not gonna get better. We're gonna see an uh, increase of, of everything. That's going wrong. Because who getting ready to come up? The Antichrist. He getting ready to come up, y'all. I don't know. Who, who knows when? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know when Jesus coming. We don't know. But he tells us to prepare. To get ready. To, to keep your minds. Set your, set your affections on things above. Not on this stuff in the earth. Yeah, y'all, we can get so caught up now because we've been down here. And we ain't been down here a long time. Because back in the in the in the old testament, they were living, who was that lived? 965 years. They were living a long time. To us, you know, that's a lot of years because uh, down here, you know, a hundred, we we say, ooh, she lived a long life. Well. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Just the people of God, get ready and don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody, no slick tongue come by and tell you you don't know what you're talking about. Jesus is coming. Uh, and, and Matthew, Matthew 24, Matthew 24, and uh, I think the 36, 36, 37 verse, it talks about no man knowing the day nor the hour of the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It say the angels don't know. It say that Jesus don't even know. And um, I, I believe I read in a commentary one time that said that the reason why Jesus don't know because he would intercede and he would ask, plead with the Father, Lord, they ain't ready. But y'all, regardless, I was talking to someone a few days ago, and and um, I, I I know not to debate the word of God, and they were saying that Jesus do know, but the word of God clearly says He don't know. 
So I learned, I, I, I've learned we don't have to debate the word of God when we can open it up and read it for ourselves. So I knew that was a fight that I, I didn't even have to, it wasn't even about a fight. It was just, you don't have to go there. You know what the words say. And even though you can show it to them in the word, you know, people going to believe like they want to believe. And I just go on. But um, like I said, I was reading in a commentary that said that if Jesus knew when, when he was to return, he would plead with the Father, intercede, and say, Lord, they ain't ready. Can you give them some more time? But God said, no, but God, he let us know no man knows the day nor the hour. And even if we didn't say that this was the, the end times and we know it is, just be ready, y'all. Just be ready. And um, as I say to you, I say to myself, let us not be caught up in this stuff down here because it ain't going to mean nothing. Even if we was to still be here when Jesus was to return and we, we we didn't die and was you know buried um this stuff would would mean nothing it won't it wouldn't mean nothing and and so y'all we see you know when you see people you know it's all about it's all about getting that money getting uh, opening and 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 uh having all these material things it really it really gets us off not everybody because you can i believe that there's some holy millionaires out there that's really living for christ and they ain't caught up in their stuff but if we don't have jesus on board before we get before we become millionaires Becoming a millionaire does not guarantee that you're gonna be that you're gonna be a holy millionaire. Cause see, holy millionaires, they gonna fund the kingdom. They gonna make sure things are done. God gonna make sure that God give this money to people that's gonna that's gonna be a blessing. If you can't do it now, you ain't gonna do it when you get the the, the however however much money you get so don't get caught up I said all that to say don't be so close to this stuff here on the earth that it calls you to walk off from Christ it causes you to stop reading your word stop fellowshipping with the other saints I ain't got time to go to church I got to do this I got to do that somebody need the gift that you got Somebody need what you what you got. Just like I know somebody need what I got. They might not. I, I've known people, they don't, because of uh, my testimony, and I give God the glory. And I ain't ashamed. I, I was. I was. I ain't ashamed now, y'all, because when I think on the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. Hey, look, you the one missing out. You the one missing out. And I give God the glory. I give God the glory because it's somebody need what I got. They say, what she got? What she got? I got Jesus Christ living on the inside. I got a few gifts living on the inside that somebody needs. Somebody needs. I believe, I believe that when I pray, I believe that God hears my prayer. And even though he don't answer right then. Hey, he is something in the mix. He working out. He working some things out. And I give him glory. I done seen him move. When you don't see God move in your life. And it seemed like the, 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 the battles, they get a little, they get a little stronger. So you be like, okay, Lord. You be like, okay, Lord. I, I'm just being honest because sometimes our faith get a little low now. But we should be. I sh I'm talking about me. I shouldn't because I done seen God. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a walking miracle. I'm a miracle. You're a miracle. We signs and wonders in the earth. 
Look what the Lord has done. I give him all the glory. I thank God for people who have prayed for me. And I believe I've had some people praying for me that really love me and care about me. And I really believe they still praying for me. And I give God the glory. But he get all the glory. He get all the glory. I give him glory. God, let me tell y'all. God is a healer. He is a deliverer. I give him glory. I thank him for everything. I thank him for everything. And uh, would I would I live my life over if I could? We all would. If we if, if if I be honest, of course I would because I know I know better now. Okay, so God knew we were gonna get off the path of righteousness. He knew that. God knew we were gonna mess up. But look, he had a ram in the bush. When the enemy said, I'm going to take them out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this and I'm going to do that. But God was right there and he didn't let him do what he wanted to do. I give him glory. Y'all, I have, I, I have, and it ain't even about me. Ain't none of this about, it ain't about you, it ain't about me. But look, look, when we come to the knowledge of the truth, it is our job to go and, and snatch somebody, to go and plant uh, the, the seed of salvation. Hey, if they don't get saved right there, don't you worry about that. You planted the seed, you move on. Somebody gonna come by and water it, uh, and, and God gonna, gonna get an increase. So don't worry about that because... I used to worry about, you know, okay, I've been witnessing, man, ain't nobody getting saved. No, you just do the work. You just, you do the work. God gonna, gonna get the glory out of everything. And, and, and I, I say all that to say this, to God be the glory. I thank him because y'all, he is healing. And let me tell you, the enemy wants you to think he ain't, he won't heal you. He won't preserve your body. But let me tell you, God will preserve you, but you got to serve him. You can't have, you can't be in and out. I'm going to serve, I'm going to read my Bible today. I'm going to live holy. I'm going to do what I know to do is right. Then you got somebody knocking on your door, somebody calling you on the phone. You got to cut folks off. If they ain't trying to be saved or get saved, leave them alone and get with somebody that, 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 that can help you grow in the things of God. And then let me tell you, if you stay in your word, if you stay reading and fasting and praying and, and fasting, I, I, I know I can do better. I, I, I've been trying to jack myself up y'all in the fasting area. Uh, I'm doing better. I give God the glory for that. But if you stay in the word and reading healing scriptures and, and, and just trusting and believing God, just staying in the word, you, you be thinking about, oh, mm, I probably, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna die. Uh, and stop looking up stuff, trying to, trying to see trying to see if 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 you going uh if you got these symptoms you do not have to accept symptoms because that's what the enemy does he 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 comes and he say let me see can I put this on them and make them think this that that's how he work he he works to fool us but dog you you got to you got to get up and fight in the spirit and you got to say I don't accept that I don't accept that. One time I had a pain. I done told this before. One time I had a pain on my side. I was just sitting in the living room. And I, I believe I was praying. I, I was doing something concerning the Lord. And I was quiet. All of a sudden this pain just came and just struck me in my back. Boy, I got so mad. I said the devil is a lie. I rebuked him. Y'all, we got that kind of rebuke. We, we got the power of the Holy Ghost living on the inside. So we got to fight back. We don't have to let him do everything he come to do and sometimes y'all we can't fight so if you can't if you if you if you weak and you can't fight it's all right to let somebody know to let let somebody that that's uh that, that they can fight for you they can help you let, let your well prayer partner some people say they got prayer partner i ain't got no well i ain't gonna say i ain't got no prayer partners but to god be the glory you know somebody living holy you tell them look i feel a little i feel a little weak can you can you can you be praying with me? Don't just uh, 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 go and crumble up and 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 uh, throw the towel in on yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get back up and fight, cause that's what he wanted. He wanted us to think. Uh, and then you know, I'm, I'm I'm telling this to the glory of God. Sometimes you go to the doctor. Sometimes the doctor 
he 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 or she don't know, you know, they they, they don't know what to do with you. Well, sometimes I don't even know what to do with me. And they want to always give you medicine. Well, are you hurting? Are you hurting any place? Now, if, if I'm if I'm at the doctor's office, it, it could just be for a checkup. And they want to always give you pain. I, I ain't hurting. No, I don't want it. I don't. I don't want. I don't want that. I ain't hurt nowhere. I ain't. I ain't get no medicine. And y'all that get medicine and you and you sell it. You ain't hurt. Don't. That's wrong. Don't do that. Don't do that because you're hurting somebody else. You get medication, and it's to it's to help you with your pain levels, and and you ain't having no pains. But you say I'm gonna get this medication, and I'm gonna sell it. Now, I, I ain't thought. I, I ain't get up here to say that. Don't do that because you're hurting yourself and you're hurting that other person. Don't sell your medication because yeah, some of y'all doing that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Somebody could OD off of your medication. Don't, don't do that. God is good. And he wants you to know that if we walk by faith and not by sight, we get, we get busy doing what we know to do is right. God, gonna, God will bless his people. And when you go back to the doctor, you expect a good report. You believe what the report of the Lord say. The report of the Lord say you heal. God healed us over 2,000 years ago. When he got up on that cross, they crucified him. They did all that evil stuff to him. They did some terrible stuff, and he did it for me. He did it for you, y'all. We are healed. We are healed. You might be in the wheelchair. You might be in the wheelchair. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to move your begin to move your toes. Begin to move your toes. Just, 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 just begin to move. Just begin to move by faith. And, and, be, and start saying, I'm gonna walk one day. I'm gonna walk. You know anything? I remember I heard a testimony. And um it, it, it piqued my faith. I, I I was new to the things of God. And I heard I heard the testimony of a, a leader they said they couldn't walk and then I, I i can't remember exactly how they said it but they began to walk and they didn't even realize it y'all healing is real healing is for today god has done things in my body that i didn't even recognize i was like yo I ain't got that issue no more. To God be the glory. It was God. I give him glory. He's that kind of God. Hey, begin to move your legs. Be, and, and speak it out your mouth. I'm going to walk one day. Begin to speak it and believe it. Because it's not what it is. It's faith is believing in what we don't. I don't see it. I, I, don't, I, I can't move my leg right now. But one day on my leg. It could be you. Get up out that chair. Get up out of that wheelchair. In the name of Jesus. Hey, you got any lumps, anything going on in your body? Cancer trying to take over and ravish your body. Mm. Lay your hands on yourself. Lay your hands on yourself and believe. Just believe. You got mental illness, witchcraft, uh, somebody uh, operating in witchcraft and, and carrying on. And, and, and you know it. Mm, yeah. Uh, touch your touch your mind, touch your head, rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. We cancel this the spirit of witchcraft and 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 cancers and 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 and, and ear problems, eye pro blindness, blindness. Uh, I, I y'all, I remember. Thank you, Jesus. When I first got saved, I remember this. I said, Lord, I said, okay. Now I took the word for what it is. I read somewhere in the Bible they talked about the man was blind, but now he could see. And so I, I began to say, I just got to say, I said, well, I want to see somebody uh, that's blind. I know they were blind. I want to see them. I, I, I want to see blinded eyes open. I believe, y'all. I believe. I believe God can do it. I could be. Now I didn't heard about it, but I ain't, I ain't seen it. 
Gigi with my own physical eye, but I believe God can do it. I believe that a person can go back and God work through medicine too. I believe a person can go back to the doctor. You've been diagnosed with cancer. You do not have to accept it. I, that you ain't got for six months to live. You don't have to accept that. Believe the report of the Lord. The Lord says you heal. Healing is the children's bread. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper. Be in health even as your soul prospers. Yeah. God wants you healed. Wants you delivered from mental witchcraft. And going to the psychics and you want to hear a word. Paying out money. This is free. Jesus done paid it all. Why are you going paying somebody to, he to hear them lie to you? I'm going to say this last thing and I'm going to get off here. I was working with a lady and um, I began to talk to her about the things of God. And she told me she went to church but she also went to the witch doctors to group workers, whatever they call them, the psychic readers. She went there. She said her and her husband went. She said she would go every two weeks. It was $100. Her husband went every week, $100. She said, oh, my husband has more money than me. He could pay more than me. So she would pay $200 a month. He paying $400 a month. And uh, I told her, I said, I begin to tell about the things of God that you don't have to pay nobody because you're getting deeper, deeper in trouble. When you, 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 you mean to tell me you paying, you only pay your tithes, but you're going to pay the root worker. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. Do your first works over. Cause a lot of y'all in the church, people in the church doing this kind of stuff and they know it's wrong. You know you ain't supposed to be uh, uh, going to no root worker and going to church. And, and that's why I told y'all, witches and warlocks, they read the Bible. They fast and they pray too to their God. You don't pay nobody to give you a word when you can open up the Bible for yourself and get a word. Read your word. Read your Bible. And live holy. Turn from your wicked ways. You get saved. You just coming to Christ. Some people can put down things just like that. Some people don't. But you cannot continue in sin and say you are a, a Christian. And you continuously practicing sin. We're not supposed to practice sin. Y'all, that's all I have. To God be the glory. I pray that I have said something. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm just going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, because we know that there is power in the word of God. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for whatever we have done, whatever we have said, anything we thought, God, that it won't please it in your sight. Lord, please forgive us, Lord. And Lord, help us, Lord, to live holy and sanctified that we may be meet for your use lord that you may be glorified in our lives and lord as you bless us as you are healing our bodies god help us god not to continue to open doors and allow the enemy to take uh full control over us god we pray in the name of jesus that he has no right to us father in the name of jesus lord help us to teach us lord lord teach us how to fight the enemy Lord, teach us, Lord, your word. Lord, help us, Lord, to allow the Holy Spirit to have full control over us. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, thank you for your healing power. Thank you, Lord, for your word. God, word, y'all, is so powerful that I can't get to you. The pastor, you might have to call them on the phone. That's how powerful the word is. I get excited about that. That we can send the word and the word can heal and deliver just by sending the word, opening up our big mouths 
and speaking the word of God. Speaking his oracles. Speaking those things that be not as though they were. Okay, so yeah, they found they found what they found. They found it. But we're going to stand on the word of God. It's infallible. It can't, the word don't fail. The word can't fail. God can't, God say he's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he going to do just what he said. God will do just what he said. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Accept your healing in the name of Jesus. Go and read some healing scriptures and just trust and believe God. Trust and believe him and stand on the word. Stand on the word. I'll see y'all in the next video.